you've got right across the street from you there in that stadium uh, a dynastic team in the NBA. Have you uh, had any relationship with the Warriors at all, Bob? Anybody, any, I guess, other than Draymond Green coming to one of your games during the finals a couple of years ago? I mean, Yeah, we were aware of that. No, I, you know what? <laughs> I grew up here watching the Warriors since I was a young kid and going to those games. And my godfather was actually Dick DeLiva, who was the trainer for the Warriors for a long, long that. time back in the championship, 75. Wow. So I, I was able to, to become a fan early on and, and certainly now as well. I know Steve a little bit. Steve Kerr lives up, you know, has lived up the street from me for a while since he's been here too. And, you know, to be able to, to kind of watch what they're doing and, and, you know, next door and, and you know, kind of try to take some of that vibe that, uh, that they have and the championships that they have, it's, it's, an, it's a nice neighbor to have, put it that way. So you knew Draymond Green was in the house that night? We did. We knew he was coming that night. <laughs> uh, I kind of made a joke and said if he wants to hang out in my office, he's more than, more than happy, but I think probably a suite's a little better place to, yeah. place to be. With Marshawn Lynch, too, if I'm not mistaken. That's that what night. I understand, so. yeah. He went, I went to Cal, and so you yeah. know the, the Lynch factor and the <laughs> Bay Area you? factor here, there's, there's a lot of that. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.